So what we'll do today is we'll make some settings non-volatile. How we're going to do that is we're going to use a program called Snap that's going to take a picture of the terminal before we make some changes. Then we're going to make some changes and compare those two. Take another snapshot and compare those two and see what has changed. What has changed we can put into a registry file and we're going to put that in the application directory. And once it's in the applica application directory it becomes non-volatile. So what we're going to do first we're going to active sync to the terminal. We see we're here we're, we're connected and we're going to explore. So go to my device and then go to the application directory. Once we're here we want to copy a program called snap free on the web. And we're going to paste it into our application directory. So it sits right there. So then on our terminal we need to run that file. And as I mentioned Snap will take a picture of the terminal before and after. So we'll let this run as it takes its picture. It's going to create an SNMP file, SNP file, in the root directory. As you can see, the output up at the top here is 609.snp. And with that file, we probably will going to, at the end, copy it back to our PC so we can compare it. And that we can change to a text file. So now that that's done, we can go back to the root directory and we see our file. We see our file here. Okay. So let's make some changes on the terminal. We're just going to play with some power settings. So we'll go into the system, we'll go into power and wake up. So we'll just make changes to where the only thing that will change is. that we can only turn the terminal off. So we'll tell this no touch panel, the terminal won't turn back on. Let's just do another change here. Turn off device if not used for two minutes and turn going to go back to terminal, we'll go back to the application, and run snap. We'll let that run and take a picture. So now that's finished, we see we have our two files here. Uh, 609 was the first one, 818 was the second one, so let's go in here. Copy these two our working directory here. And we'll just op open up exam diff, which is the program we'll be using. Six oh nine was our first. Eight one eight was our second. We'll press OK. So in this in this file you'll see that anything that has changed on the right will be in green. Anything that has been added will be on the right in yellow. So this is one item we're going to take. We'll just open up a notepad here and we'll paste that there. And go to our next items that have changed. Really just taking a note of which items have changed. So let's go just down the whole list and grab all of the items that have made a change. Okay. Things like this you can skip. The time will always change on the terminal and this program will grab that so you can skip things like that. So really just look at the things that have So that looks like it. We're just going to do a file save as, put it in our working directory here, and we'll just call it powersave.reg. We can close that file and close.
those are what's called exam diff. <clears throat> There's uh, freeware. So we have powersave.reg. So we're going to copy this. And we're going to paste it into the application directory. Once it's in the application directory, um, it can be tapped on and be merged. Uh, but what we can also do is you can say, OK, I want every terminal I have to run the same way. So and hence, you can copy this reg file to all your other terminals. And they will all act the same way. So this registry file would need would get automatically merged during a clean boot. Or you can just tap on the file, merge it, do a quick warm boot, and the settings will be set. You can really look through anything on the terminal and make a registry file from the changes using snap and exam diff. Changing a sound or a notification changing how the buttons work, input, large or small input, large key, small keys, um, changing the backlight settings. If you want to have it turn on or whatnot, all this can be changed, saved and saved as a registry file, put in the application directory, and deployed across hundreds of terminals. So all terminals are acting the same way. So, and it's a good way to keep it consistent, keep your OS consistent, and your software consistent. Thank you.